Hello and welcome back to Mule 4 series of uh, learning videos. In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, Mule 4 uh, error handling techniques. And also, we are going to compare how we used to handle errors in Mule 3. So, uh, I have set up uh, two workspaces, one in Mule 4 and another one in Mule 3. And we are going to compare how uh, the error handling is happening between Mule 3 versus Mule 4. So, uh, the use case here is uh, we have a HTTP listener that invokes a third party service to uh, get the details of the city when uh, zip code is given. And we are going to log uh, the completion of uh, service by saying completed successfully. So, this is a simple flow. And this is the API that we are going to invoke. This is a Rust API where we give uh, um, zip code as input and uh, we are going to get the JSON as an output with the city details. So this is uh, zip code of uh, New York City and we are able to get this detail. So let's see how to invoke this uh, by giving the a simple JSON passing the zip code. So I have set up a SOAP UI tool with this endpoint calling 7777 for NUL3. 8888 for mule 4. Now let's invoke uh, mule 3 with a zip code of uh, 10001. So this is a response that we got earlier in the browser. It's the same response received. And uh, we have also set up a uh, Mule 4 uh, workspace with the same uh, request where the request is uh, made to the same uh, REST API by giving the input uh, zip code. Let's run this. We are getting the same response back for Mule 4 as well. So now let's see uh, the error situation in Mule 3 first. So here we have a uh, catch exception strategy which you might already know which capture the error and uh, we are going to set the payload uh, error record. Let's see how it works. So I'm going to give uh, some invalid it's neither XML nor JSON. So we received the uh, response that says error record because of the uh, uh, catch exception strategy. But one thing interesting to note here is uh, um, in the response, you don't see the final logger uh, uh, displaying uh, completed successfully because of the error. Okay, so this is how uh, Mule 3 error handling works. And let's switch on to Mule 4. So here the port number is 8888. And I'm going to use this uh, 8888 port. And uh, we have not handled this error. So we are getting the error message uh, as a raw response. Now let's see the error handling in Mule 4. So uh, when you type error, you can see three types of error handling. Uh, first one is error handler and uh, on error continue and on error propagate. So what's interesting is uh, on error continue. So before that, uh, we are going to see some unique way of handling the error by using try catch. So we will pull try. And we are going to try the HTTP request invocation. And now we are going to choose on error continue. And let's put it here. And then we can say set payload. Now let's set the payload. And uh, the logger says completed successfully. Let's run this and see what happens. got restarted and now let's try this. 
So now we are going to see the structured error message which we have given as uh, invalid zip code. Let's set the mime type to JSON. Let's rerun this again. So you're going to see it as a JSON response. So uh, you can compare this try catch uh, with the equivalent Java try catch where it's going to uh, try this and catch the exception that occurred. And uh, when you try this uh, error handling mechanism, the control goes to the next line and then um, the execution continues from there. Very similarly, you can see here uh, after the error handling is completed, you can see the log, I mean, it, the control moves to the next step to the logger and then that says it's completed successfully. So the important difference is that we are, uh, uh, I mean, I like this kind of uh, error handling with the try catch. So uh, the uh, control is flexible and we can even uh, choose the type of error uh, that is to be handled by this type here. And you can see uh, the list of uh, error types, which you can compare uh, to the mule three uh, of choice exception strategy. But uh, the only difference is the uh, control easily continues and it uh, gets flexible in Mule 4. Let's run this and see what happens. The application got restarted. And now let's try this. So now we are going to see uh, the structured error message which we have given as uh, invalid zip code. Let's set the JSON. Let's rerun this again. So you're going to see it as a JSON response. So uh, you can compare this try catch uh, with the equivalent Java try catch, where it's going to uh, try this and catch the exception that occurred. And uh, when you try this uh, error handling mechanism, the control goes to the next line and then um, the execution continues from there. Very similarly, you can see here uh, after the error handling is completed, you can see the log, I mean, it, the control moves to the next step to the logger and then that says it's completed successfully. So the important difference is that we are, uh, uh, I mean, I like this kind of uh, error handling with the try catch. So uh, the uh, control is flexible and we can even uh, choose the type of error uh, that is to be handled by this type here. And you can see uh, the list of uh, error types, which you can compare uh, to the mule three uh, of choice exception strategy. But uh, the only difference is uh, control easily continues and it uh, gets flexible in mule four. Thanks for watching this video and uh, I'll come back with another interesting topic soon. Please don't forget to provide your suggestions in the comment section below and uh, see you soon. Bye.